Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 425. Other causes of ischemic brain diseases. Name some other causes of ischemic brain diseases. Other causes of ischemic brain disease include atherosclerosis, hemorrhagic stroke, ischemic stroke, and a transient ischemic attack. How does atherosclerosis lead to ischemic stroke? In atherosclerosis, there is thrombi formation which could lead to ischemic stroke with subsequent necrosis. This can form cystic cavity with reactive gliosis. What is hemorrhagic stroke? Hemorrhagic stroke is when there is intracerebral bleeding. What is the cause of hemorrhagic stroke? The cause of hemorrhagic stroke is due to hypertension, anticoagulation, and cancer. Because in cancer, there is abnormal vessels that can bleed. Hemorrhagic stroke can also occur secondary to ischemic stroke because in after ischemia there is reperfusion. This will lead to increase in vessels fragility and if the vessels are fragile they can bleed out and lead to a hemorrhagic stroke. What is the cause of ischemic stroke? We already talked about this part and that is ischemic stroke occurs due to atherosclerotic emboli which blocks the large vessels. What is the etiology of getting an ischemic stroke due to the blockage of large vessels? The etiology includes atrial fibrillation, carotid dissection, patent foramen ovale, and endocarditis. What stroke would block the small vessels? The Kuhner strokes block small vessels and this may be secondary due to hypertension. What is the treatment of ischemic stroke? The treatment of ischemic stroke is TPA within four and a half hours as long as the patient presents within three hours of onset and there is no major risk of hemorrhage. What is transient ischemic attack or TIA? Transient ischemic attack or TIA is a brief reversible episode of focal neurologic dysfunction typically lasting less than one hour without acute infarction. Transient ischemic attacks are negative on an MRI and whatever deficits may be observed in a patient are due to focal ischemia. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.